Greetings, folks. We are coming to you today from the Richmond Marina Bay. This is a gorgeous place that I have never seen before, and I am so happy to finally make it down here. Not just for this view or for this walk. This is actually part of the San Francisco Bay Trail, but also for the Rosie the Riveter Museum, which is something I've been wanting to see for a long time. I'm very fascinated by the World War II history and Rosie the Riveter. Anyway, I'd like for you to come along with me. From the Richmond Marina, we are now looking at the Rosie the Riveter Memorial. Lots of interesting history posted here with pictures and stories. In fact, there are comments written into the sidewalk, into the concrete. Many, many comments. Here is just one of them. And you can pause the video and read that for yourself. But lots of uh, pictorial exhibits here. Fascinating stories of the women who worked in the lumber mills and the steam mills and the shipyards and did all sorts of things from chemistry to drafting to, you know, manual labor and welding. And just so you know that here in Richmond, women were the stories of racial uh, civil rights, stories about the Japanese, stories about the blacks in America who migrated from the south over here for work, stories about women of all colors getting work in the workforce for the World War II efforts. Going to be cruising around this park and checking out more historical plaques and then down there by the marina. This is a great spot because as you look out over the water you can see the San Francisco skyline. It's a rather famous skyline and some of us will recognize some of the buildings over there. Okay, this is from a little bit different vantage point. Just to take a second look at that skyline. And over here on your left, I'll put an arrow, is the Bay Bridge. That's one way of getting into San Francisco. And then if you've heard of that Golden Gate Bridge, it's actually in here too, and I'll have to pause the video and put an arrow because you can barely see it, but there it is. Okay, here we are inside the museum, and I did not talk out loud while I was walking through, so I'm using voiceover narration. I just want to show you that there was so much memorabilia in here. Many, many posters and pictorial uh, stories about Rosie the Riveter. Americans who dropped whatever they were doing. Women uh, left their, their housekeeping duties at home and became all sorts of things in the workforce. This museum definitely honors the efforts of Americans, mostly the women, on the home front. And I can only imagine the many stories and the complex realities of the times. Yes, there were opportunities, and in some way there was unity. But in other ways, there were losses endured by many, and uh, there was separateness in society. Um, so life was not perfect at all. There's a sign, should your wife take a job? Well, I bet that was controversial back in the day. Women, they say women were put in slacks when they took on the Rosie the Riveter jobs and entered the workforce. Democracy for all, no. African Americans still lived in a society of double standard. And they not only were fighting the war efforts, but they were fighting Jim Crow. 
another reality of those times. More memorabilia, more stories. It could take quite a while reading these very interesting plaques. These people had to get busy and build the ships for war. They had to look past their differences, at least on some level. And why was Richmond important? Well, these signs over here kind of spelled it out. The, it was a deep water port. They had a ready workforce. They had trains and a railroad, and they also had Henry Kaiser, for Kaiser Steel, and they had the land and room to build the, the industrial complex needed. Here's where Richmond is located, in case you don't know, it is quite near San Francisco. Lots of old signs of the times. So you can read them yourself and get an idea of the mindset. There's Rosie enjoying some lunch. Yes, they did work next to the men, and also disabled people of both genders worked all together. Everyone's job was valued, and, and you were important in your role. As this sign says, promoting the cause was the main focus on the home front. People had to give up things and they were rationed food and goods. Here is Richmond in the 1940s, looks like a bustling town. I like the old time look of that uh, poster or whatever that is and the uh, the 3D statues of the people walking in front of it. It's a great view of what things probably looked like back then. And housing. Housing was hard to come by. Oh, this one I like. Use it up, wear it out, they could do. There he is fixing the old lawnmower so he doesn't have to buy a new one, and she's sewing his pants at the same time, make things last. Back to the housing, yes, it was a housing crunch for sure. People lived in chicken coops and garages and trailers and uh, whatever they could find to put a roof over their heads. Times were tough. Children were affected. A lot of child care came into being because mothers were now working outside of the home. Then they talked about the transportation, and this poster kind of said something interesting. When you ride alone, you ride with Hitler. Oh boy, join a car sharing club today. That's pretty heavy. This area was a reminder of Pearl Harbor. And some scrap metal. You were supposed to save and recycle your scrap metal. The building of the Victory Ship is talked about here. And finally, the war was over in 1945. And there must have been a great deal of rejoicing. This wall talks about the impact of the war on society in general. Of course, it affected many, many aspects of society. And I thought this little sign was interesting as well. It took a war to liberate American women. Well, we know it took more than that. 
And this was a reminder that not all women or families were treated with great respect during this time. Of course, the Japanese Americans and the Italians were actually called enemy aliens by some people. And the African Americans also endured great hardship regarding segregation during this time. And yet, the war effort had to be the focus of America at that time. Any stories? And we are leaving and going to continue our walk around here. The wind is picking up and more people are here by now. What a beautiful sight on this marina. We've got boats coming in and out. We've got people in different sports and kayaks, windsurfing. There's a couple over here. This certainly is a beautiful, beautiful walk on this San Francisco Bay Trail around the marina. Oh, doesn't that look great? How about that yacht? Back out on the trail, uh, we just passed a bunch of homes and condos, townhouses, new developments around this area. All very nice looking, beautifully landscaped. And we've come to the Shimada Friendship Garden. There's a lot of geese around here, but wow, what a view over to San Francisco. And with this view, I am going to say thank you so much for coming along with me. It has been a day filled with interesting sights and historical lessons. And I hope and pray that we learn from history and don't make some of the same mistakes that we made in the past. And I hope we are not forced to come together as a nation anytime soon to fight another war. And with those somber thoughts, I say thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.